Welcome back everyone to episode three of Whiskey World. Today we are drinking actual old fashions. Last week I we didn't have all the ingredients so I made a little sketchy one. But this one is a real one and they're pretty good. I like the other one better. But we're going to jump into episode three and just remember this is spoiler filled. We are recapping and reviewing the episode and so let's go. Also as a reminder, recipe will be listed down below. So this episode kicks off with one of our six parks that we were teased to in episode one, and this is India World. Don't know if that's the name of it, but that's what we're going to call it, because it's like during the colonization period. I was not expecting this. No. But this explains where the tigers came from, and so we've got this girl who was weird at first. I thought she was a host. Turns out she's not. And then you learned that the hosts in India World and also the Tigers are off the rails and off their programming because the Tiger was actually able to, like, cross the, the barrier, like, yeah. barrier of, like, employees only, essentially, sections. So that's an interesting little thing. So most of this episode actually focuses on Abernathy, interestingly enough, or at least follows Abernathy around. So you first see Charlotte is on a mission to get him back because Abernathy has all the park's info in his head. And Bernard's doing his Bernardi thing, I guess, but they end up losing Abernathy the first time and Dolores finds him and recognizes him. Yeah, as her dad, because that was a role he played in the past and she's being... Very protective of him, which I think was an interesting piece to her new, like, Wyatt, Dolores, weird multiple personality thing going on, because it shows that she still has this, like, human compassion, but also this programmed piece of her that still cares for a relationship that was programmed into her, which I wasn't expecting. I thought she'd be, like, callous about <laughs> it. She's not. We also got a bit more of Maeve's storyline. Her and Lee are off bopping around, and they <laughs> run into What's-Her-Face. I don't know her name. She's got the snake, snake tattoo. Lady. Snake lady. Snake lady. I thought lady. she died because at the end of season one, she got her arm caught and all the people were coming to get her. And now she's got like a metal arm. So I'm assuming it got she, ripped like, off. She like slipped out of it, her like... skin, yeah. Well, I don't think there are robots underneath their skin for the newer ones. What if she's an old model? Who knows? Either she know. got her skin ripped off and the metal is showing underneath or she got her whole arm ripped off and she like had a little metal one placed in the meantime. But she meets up with them. She's alive. We find out a little bit more of Lee's backstory, which I'm not quite sure if that's going to go anywhere or not, or if it's just yeah, like we'll a see. little tidbit to make him a little more likable, because up until this point, I would argue he's a very unlikable character. So towards the end of the episode, we actually pick back up with Dolores, who has teamed up with the Confederados, or whatever they're called, and has her own army, because I guess they know that the humans are rolling in, killing all the wild hosts. And... So she gets ready for battle, and this is something that I find that Westworld actually could use some work on compared to Game of Thrones. Oh, battle scenes? Because Game of Thrones knows how to do their battle scenes, whereas I felt like the actual battle of this one seemed a little rushed. It didn't seem quite as crisp as it could have been. But the end result is while they're battling, Charlotte sneaks in and captures Abernathy and gets away. Which there's a really cool scene where Dolores gets shot and she's just like, pow! Yeah. And does not even respond. It's like disturbing slash really cool, <laughs> which just sums up Dolores' character right now. We also get some more development with Teddy and Dolores' kind of friction that they have going on because she orders Teddy to kill some people. Uh, why did she do that? Is it because... The rest of the Confederados. Oh, yes. Just over, yeah. the... Send a message, essentially. And Teddy lets them go. He has a conversation with this guy, and there's the line where it's like, don't be a triggerman for tyrants, which I thought was a good line. There's lots of good lines in the season. <laughs> and uh, Teddy decides to let them go, and he doesn't know that Dolores is watching, Dolores and is she like... is. And she just has this, like, <laughs> utter disappointment on her face, and then just, like, walks away. So I'm sure she will deal with him at some point. We'll see how that goes. Yes. And then at the end of the season, they finally tease Samurai World, but they're still in Westworld. They're in, like, the northern part of Westworld, yes. and the Samurai show up, and it immediately cuts away, and so they're like, okay, keep teasing it. But that was the end of the episode. Hopefully we'll get some of that in the next episode. I enjoyed this episode a lot more than episode two. Episode two was not my favorite. I felt like this one flowed a little bit better. We got some more perspectives than episode two. And uh, I just enjoyed it a little bit more overall. But I agree with Steven, the battle scenes need some work. 
Yeah, overall I felt like it was a more contained episode, and that was to its benefit, at least after last week's episode was kind of all over the place. Now, I'd be okay if they flipped back and forth between those. You probably wouldn't be. But I enjoyed this episode, too. I think it's a good progression, and I'm starting to get more interested in where things are going. And that wraps up our recap and review of episode three. Let us know what you thought of this episode. We would love to know your thoughts. Give us a like if you're liking our Whiskey World series. And subscribe if you like us and don't want to miss out on further Whiskey World episodes. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.